For the most demanding environments, high-performance temperature sensors called thermocouples are commonly used. They're particularly suited for high-temperature applications found in the chemical, petrochemical, and refinery industries. You can think of them as the workhorses of the temperature-taking world. They have many advantages. Thermocouples are reliable, versatile, long-lasting, inexpensive, and very responsive to temperature changes. And with their conductor cables encased inside a mineral insulated sheath, thermocouples perform reliably in processes with high pressure and vibration, essential within many industries. How do they accurately register temperature differentials? Two dissimilar metal wire conductors are connected at one end. This is the measuring junction, or hot junction. At the other end, the wires are connected to the body of a known temperature. This is the reference junction, or cold junction. The difference in the voltage generated at the two junctions, called the electromotive force, can be calibrated to give an accurate temperature reading. This is known as the Seaback effect. Although thermocouples are extremely reliable, temperature measurement errors can occur for various reasons. When putting the settings into a transmitter during installation, it's possible to select the wrong type of thermocouple. Since almost all thermocouples are color-coded by type, you need to confirm the color of the thermocouple jacket and match the settings on the transmitter to solve this problem. International standards and color codes can be found on WICA's website. Problems related to the thermocouple extension wire can occur. If the polarity of the thermocouple lead wires is reversed, the measured temperature will also be incorrect. The solution is to double check the connection and if necessary, swap the thermocouple lead wires so that they are correct. There can also be inherent variations in alloys. As the alloy percentages vary minutely during each manufacturing process, some error in thermocouple accuracy is unavoidable. The solution is to use thermocouples with special limit wires, which can improve accuracy twofold. These wires are manufactured at the highest tolerances to ensure the fewest possible impurities and the greatest consistency in alloy ratio. Standard thermocouples get within approximately 1% of the actual temperature at the measuring junction, which is accurate enough for most applications. Due to cold or heat sources, temperature variations at the reference junction connection can occur. Because a thermocouple measures temperature differentials, any temperature fluctuations around the reference junction will result in an error reading. The solution is to make sure no sources of cooling or heating are located near the reference junction. Simple insulation can also protect the junction from extreme temperatures. Having a thermocouple grounded in more than one location can cause errors. When this happens, a ground loop can occur, causing electricity to flow around the loop. This can generate electromagnetic fields that impact accuracy. The solution is to ground either the transmitter or the controller recorder, or choose a thermocouple with internal isolation. Loop isolators can also prevent this from happening. The age of the thermocouple can also cause inaccuracy. Maximum exposure temperatures, cyclic measurements, and frequency of the cycles affect the metallurgy with a resultant drift, usually downward. If this happens, 10 to 20 degree Fahrenheit errors are common. The only solution is to periodically replace the thermocouple based on age and use. Contact our specialists at WICA if you have questions regarding thermocouple solutions. A global leader in sensing technology solutions for your industrial applications.